Hello all, my name is Krish Naik and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, in this video, we are going to discuss about how we can fine tune our own LLM models with our own custom data. For this purpose, we will be specifically using this platform, which is called as gradient.ai. Now gradient actually provides you a lot of LLM models. On top of that, you can probably do a lot of fine tuning with your own custom data set. Custom data sets ca can just be formatted in a specific way to give it. And later on, the fine tuning can really happen in a quicker way. So probably when I will be doing the fine tuning, it hardly takes seven to eight minutes. This is the demo that I really want to show you in this specific video. By doing this, you will get an idea. If you have a custom data set and you want to also create your own custom LLM model, you can definitely do it with the help of gradient.ai. Now let's understand what does gradient.ai provides you. It is a one platform unlimited AI. It, it not only does the fine tuning, it helps you to develop it, deploy it, and even for the inferencing part. So over here, you can create your own private LLMs, your own models, fully unlocked models, right? And you can build with any languages. It provides you three SDK, I think JavaScript, Python, and Java. So that is also provided. We will be specifically using Python SDK. We will be using Google Colab and we will be fine tuning our own model. So it is the only AI platform that allows you to combine industry expert AI with your private data. And here is all the other information that you can see that it also provides accelerate AI transformation, deploy AI to solve mission critical problem, 10 into faster with Gradient's AI cloud platform, we handle the infrastructure for you. So it is an amazing platform altogether where you can not only uh, build your model, even it, you can inference it, you can even fine tune it. So in order to go ahead with, first of all, you need to go ahead and sign up. So for sign up, you can probably put your entire details. I've already signed, out, uh, signed up, so I'm going to probably do the login over here. As soon as I do this login, it will ask you to create a new workspace. So this is the first important step that you have to do. So for creating a new workspace, you just need to create, like just click on this particular button, create a new workspace. You can give your own workspace name and just submit it. Once you submit it, like in this case, I've created a test workspace. You need to know this specific ID because this ID is nothing but it is the workspace ID. So I will copy this workspace ID so that I will be using it in my coding when I probably do it in the Google Colab. The next thing that is specifically required, you need to click on the access tokens, right? One is the workspace ID and the other one is the access token. Again, to generate the access token, I have already generated it. I have kept it uh, in my coding environment. All you need to do is that just click on generate new access token and you have to just put your password, submit it, and it will give you the access token. There, you just need to do the copy over there. So what I will do, I will go ahead and uh, uh, give my password as soon as I do this. So here you can probably see that you get your secret access token. You can copy it over here. One amazing thing about Gradient AI is that it provides you all the necessary documentation over here. You can just go and refer the document documentation it provides you the entire code that is actually required with respect to python sdk and trust me guys just with the minimal lines of code you can probably fine tune your entire model in an easier way right so if you probably go to the guides here you have something called as python sdk example so with respect to python sdk you can probably see this is the code for fine tuning i will copy the same code and i'll probably run it but here i'm going to make some changes with respect to my data set along with that you can also have uh, you can also go ahead and see the entire documentation whatever things you specifically require the integration it specifically provides for langchain llama index MongoDB, Haystack, so whatever things is specifically required. MongoDB and all, you can probably do the vector data. You can create it as a vector da database and probably store all the vectors over there. Now, let me quickly log in again. So once I log in, if you probably go to the workspace, okay? So this is the workspace that I've actually created, okay? Now inside this work workspace, you can see all these are the models that I've already created for the fine tuning purpose. If you probably go ahead and click on fine tuning, and if you see, if I just go ahead and select uh, or create fine tuning over here, it provides you three base models. Okay. One is the Bloom 560. One is Llama 27B chat. One is Nos Hermes 2. Okay. So these are different, different models, uh, LLM models. You can use any one of them for the fine tuning purpose. Now in our example, what I'm actually going to do is that I'm going to use this specific thing. And then what will happen is that with the help of Python SDK, I'm going to do the entire fine tuning process here. Then I will be able to see my fine tuning job also as I go ahead. Okay. So here I have opened my Google Colab. Let's go ahead step by step and let's see that how you can probably fine tune your LLM model. So let me first of all make this spelling mistake correctly. Okay. 
Now the first step is that we will go ahead and install Gradient AI. So for this, I will be using pip install Gradient AI upgrade. So once I execute this over here, you will be able to see that the installation will start taking place. Now it shows that requirement is already satisfied. Now, the next thing is that the two important information, as I said, one is the gradient workspace ID. I've already shown you from where you can probably get your workspace ID, right? Uh, initially in the workspace, when we were probably checking it out, that particular ID, I had copied it over here and I pasted it over here. And the next ID that I really need to set it is my access token, gradient access token. So I will set up the environment by using import OS. And then I'm going to probably use os.environment gradient workspace ID with my workspace ID itself. So this is the ID, which you will again get it from the gradient itself once you log in. And the second thing is about the gradient access token. So here also I have pasted the access token. So let me just go ahead and execute it and I have set up this environment variable. One is the gradient workspace ID and gradient access token. Now is the most important thing. This is the code of the entire fine tuning. So let me go ahead step by step and see like how the fine tuning is basically done. So first of all, we will go ahead and import from gradient AI, import gradient, right? So this gradient will be responsible in fine tuning in even calling the base model. Now I've created a function definition main. Now this is the function. Initially I have initialized gradient, okay? Inside this gradient, you have a method which is called as get base model. And here the first parameter is something called as base model slug. That basically means what model you are specifically calling. And I've already shown you in the fine tuning, right? If you probably go ahead and create fine tuning through the UI, you have this three models that is there. Bloom 560, Llama 2 7B chat, Nose Hormus 2. So in this case, I'm going to specifically use Nose Hormus 2, okay? Now Nose Hormus 2, I'm going to do it. See, you can also do it with the help of UI, but I really want to show you with the help of coding by using Python SDK. So here is the same model I have pasted it over here, right? So this specific model over here is my LLM model that I'm going to find. On top of it, I'm going to fine tune it with my own custom data. Now, once we created this base model, so this line basically gets you the base model over here. Now this model will be responsible and we will try to create a model adapter, right? The reason we are creating a model adapter because this will be specifically my model. Let's say this is like Krish model over here. And this model, the reason we are creating as a model adapter because in further we will be doing fine tuning for this particular model itself. So the first step is basically to create an adapter on front of it, right? And the name of that particular model will be uh, Krish model itself. So this is the second line of the code that we have executed. Now here we have created the model adapter with the ID new model adapter dot ID. So we will be getting the ID itself. Now is the most important step. I will try to go ahead and create a query. So this is my sample query. The instruction, see I've given some kind of format. The instruction is who is Krishna? So this is the question. And usually what happens is that in gradient, you really need to use a specific format in creating your custom data. And for that, you can refer this Python SDK here. You have some tips and tricks. It will ta talk about like how you can probably create your entire uh, data itself, right? With custom data. So you can check it out this specific thing. And with respect to that, you'll get an idea like how your data set should be created in a form, right? So some format should be there. So let's say if I ask any query, right, for a base model, something like this, I've given this three hash uh, uh, and then the instruction, this is the question, who is Krishna? And then we are closing it with two end line, okay? And then we will be seeing the response. So response over here is kept as blank because this response is going to come from this specific new model adapter. Okay, which has the base model nos hormus. Okay, now we will be printing this sample query. So already it will be just going and printing this with all, all this information like instruction and response. Now this model reactor, when I say dot complete, okay, so dot complete is a method over here. The first parameter I will be giving my query, that is my sample query. The max generated token, I will be giving 100. So it is going to probably uh, take 100 max token in the form of output. And then we are going to use dot generated output. So this is one of the attribute that is present inside this dot complete method. Okay, so after this complete method, we will be getting the generated output. As soon as we get the generated output, that basically means whatever questions I have asked over here, who is Krish Naik, I'm going to get the output over here itself, right? So generated before fine tuning. 
Now here is my output that I'll be getting and understand I have not started my fine tuning. So that is the reason I've written a comment over here before fine tuning. Now before fine tuning, if I ask who is Krish Naik, obviously this model will not know unless and until uh, I'm very much popular. Okay, I'm not that much popular. So it will just say that if, if it has heard somewhere Krish Naik, it will give some information. Now what I will do, I will go ahead and create my own sample data. Okay, regarding Krishna, because obviously over here in before fine tuning, if I probably execute it, I will not be able to get the output, the right output. Now, this will basically be my custom data. So here you can see that the first question that I've asked, the first uh, sample, that first input data that I've created, which will be used for training is that who is Krishna? Then over here, the response I've written as Krishna is a popular mentor and a YouTuber who uploads video on data science and uh, LLM and his channel is channel and in, in his channel Krishna. So this is one of the input and the output that I've given the similarly second input. I will again create who is this person named Krishna. Now I'm giving in a different format of text like question and answer. Right. And again, the response I've written Krishna likes data science and AI make videos in YouTube and he's also a mentor, right? Something like this. Then instruction again, what do you know about Krishna? Okay, so again, I've created one more response. Krishna is a popular creator who specializes in the field of data science and his channel name is Krishna. Okay, and again, one more input like this. I can create a lot of inputs uh, related to a single context. Now, suppose if I have hundred of context, I may probably create this kind of inputs. And at the end of the day, if in a real world scenario, in an end to end project, if you see this all information will be coming from some kind of databases. It can be a MongoDB database, it can be a SQL database and all right. So this will be my sample of data it's just like more like a key value pair you know but a list of key value pairs now this is done now what i'm going to define after this my input is done my model before fine tuning is done now i need to do the fine tuning so for performing the fine tuning i need to have number of epochs one parameter i will <laughs> initialize count is equal to zero now i'm saying while count is less than number of epochs and then I will start my fine tuning over here. So fine tuning count plus one, then I will say new model adapter dot fine tune is one method where I am giving my samples. Okay. So samples over here, this all samples, I'll be giving it over here for the fine tuning purpose. <coughs> so in short, I'm using a method which is called as dot fine tune. And we are specifically giving this samples over here. And then we are incrementing the count so that the epochs keeps on increasing. So first iteration one, iteration two, iteration three, and then this entire fine tuning will happen. Okay. Now, after this, I am again writing this comment after fine tuning and I will execute the same method right over here by giving the same sample query, who is Krishna, right? And over here, the same thing is then I am get the generated output. I am going to display the generated output. And after doing this, I am deleting my adapter because I will not require it afterwards. Uh, if I wanted to use it further, I can keep it like that. Otherwise, I can just go ahead and delete it. And here also I'm closing the gradient. And this is where I'm starting my main. So this is in short, what we are doing is that before fine tuning, I really want to see the response. I created my sample data over here. And then again, I did the fine tuning with respect to number of epochs and all. And now let's go ahead and execute it. So once I probably start executing it, you can probably see uh, it will it will start, uh, you know, it may take hardly a couple of minutes since I've just done three iteration. Okay, so here created model adapter with this particular ID. Uh, the instruction is who is Krishna. So it is waiting for the response. Let's see over here whether it has been created or not. Uh, model testing. Let's see fine tuning. So here also it will as soon as the fine tuning will happen here, the model will get created and it will got deleted. Okay, it will get deleted. So here the response it is getting that Krishna is a well known Indian actor who has prepared in various films uh, and television shows is best known for his uh, Raj in the popular I have I've never worked in any industry guys. Okay, so it is saying I'm an Indian actor. I'm not an actor altogether. Kyuki saas bhi kabhi bhauti. Okay, so this is a very famous serial in India. Okay, I have never acted over there. I don't know whom it has considered. Okay, that's also said that I've worked in Dil Chata Hai. Kal Ho Na Ho. Hmm? Nice. So now I am doing the fine tuning. So this is the response that I've got generated before fine tuning. And now after fine tuning, I've given the right kind of data with respect to input and the response. 
uh the third iteration is getting overseas how fast it is happening in the cloud platform gradient cloud platform that is quite amazing right and this is super super nice at the end of the day you'll be able to see this right beautiful right we are already in the third iteration and now here i am getting my output generated after fine tuning krish is a popular youtuber and data scientist is known for his data science python tutorials on his youtube channel krish naik now see just with this three sentence or four sentence how well it has done the fine tuning now just imagine the power guys right the entire fine tuning is happening in the gradient cloud itself right if i probably give this kind of data and just increase the number of epochs and train it how beautifully within 5 to 7 minutes you can actually train it i hardly you know just to put my input data it hardly took very less time right so this is one amazing application this is how you can probably do the fine tuning one task i really want to give it to you i okay let's let's reload this i think you'll be able to see my fine tuned model also uh, let's see the model uh okay i have already deleted it i think yeah i have deleted it so you, that is the reason you are not able to see it over here if i had not deleted that you could also see the models over here right so model testing see model is also not here right otherwise you could also see it uh, put it over here and you can ask any question you want right this is quite amazing so uh, at the end of the day if you don't want to delete it just don't delete it and keep it like this so i hope you like this particular video i hope you have understood how you can fine tune our amazing llm models uh, in with the help of gradient ai cloud uh, which is quite amazing you should definitely use it try to use it and try to see whether you are able to do this or not but uh, just by seeing the code and all i think it is quite easy quite amazing again yes this was it for my side i hope you like this particular video i'll see you all in the next video have a great day thank you and all take care bye bye